Hello everybody, this is Steve Rich with Automation D&D. Just wanted to share something with you. As you see here, I have a Coinbase account and I made a purchase of some Bitcoin. And I just wanted to share the experience with you. I've written a couple of articles recently on it. It's not like it's a new thing to me. I have been studying it for a little while. And I don't want to get too crazy fancy about it, but um, I think I want to share with you how to go about buying your first piece. So I chose the multi-bit wallet to use for my Bitcoin. You save your digital currency in something known as a wallet, and there are various forms of wallet. There are digital wallets, paper wallets, um, web-based wallets. It is better to have one locally on your computer and back it up and duplicate it in a couple of places so you don't lose the contents. It's not really recommended to keep it on a web-based wallet. You can, but I won't get into it. Just download a wallet. That way you can begin to work with the currency. You save the Windows installer, and I have a virtual machine ready to perform the installation on just to kind of demonstrate that to you. And this is an XP machine that I'm demonstrating the installation on. But that's okay, the installation is the same. Don't get fancy, except the defaults. Yes, I deleted a prior installation that was here. But you will just accept the defaults. It'll look like this. And done. And then, the very first time you launch your digital wallet, it'll have to synchronize with the network. And multi-bit is lightweight. It will synchronize quickly. You'll see that it says connecting. It'll run a progress bar, and your wallet will update. This one is synchronized with the network because I had done it in the past. And um, this is just a way of storing your Bitcoin and or moving it around. You can send Bitcoin to someone else by putting in their address. You can receive Bitcoin by, getting a, by using your address and sending it to them. Universally unique identifier. You can copy and paste it into like an email and send it to somebody. Or you can, if you have Bitcoin in your wallet, you can send someone money for pizza like this, where I've stated I will send 40 million Bitcoin, and except I can't send it because I have nothing in my wallet, it won't send. And if you need a little bit of help, there are some help notes here to talk you through some difficulties. You can set a password for your wallet, which is recommended. And you can export what are known as private keys, the keys that you use to access your wallet. But right here and right now, I cannot even access the Bitcoin that I just purchased. It will arrive on the 19th. Yes, this is the screenshot that I took when I purchased my half a Bitcoin. And I will be getting it in my online wallet through Coinbase on the 19th. Then I can transfer it to my personal wallet. Now, when you are setting up your Coinbase account, you will need... Um, to link your bank account to it. Don't get creeped out. It's like the purchase of any th any other kind of a... Um, one of the things that they will want if you want to do the purchase quickly is they will ask for your ID and password to access your account to do an instant verification. Or you can do a checking account based verification which will take a few days. It's up to you. I did the instant verification and set it up and within a few minutes I did buy half a Bitcoin. 
and this was the price at the purchase it said 223.34 and right here and now the price is 222.93 just wanted to get half a bitcoin and get the ball rolling now if I go back to my virtual machine here and try to go through the setup again go to coinbase and you will have to set up your online account to work with them and this is coinbase.com and you will have to sign up They will send you a verification email from Coinbase just to verify that you are working from that email address. And in order to finish setting it up, they will want a phone number as well. as you're setting up an account they'll send you a couple of fractions of a bitcoin just to activate the account your online wallet but you see they will ask for a phone they will link to your bank and then you will be able to buy bitcoin so you can't let it freak you out it's pretty typical when you're exchanging some sort of a security um, in my case, like I said, I allowed them to access my account directly and quickly to get it over with. Now, let me go back to this, my actual web account. I went through the whole setup, just like you saw there, verified with a phone, and each time here I saved the screen. I saved a couple of screenshots for you to look at. Um, Coinbase does a two-stage verification unless you opt out of it at the very beginning. Every time you try to log into the web-based um, wallet here they will send you a text again unless you check off let me log in for 30 days without having to verify via text so other than that it's fairly straightforward <laughs> 